Hey YouTube, Southern Illinois Piper Lance here coming to you oh, on this wonderful, remarkably chilly Sunday evening. Uh, had a good day at work after a long night, and I'm sitting down here for my evening smoke. Smoking my Scotto freehand with with the sick grain, good rustification. I love this pipe; it's awesome. I really love this stem. Got my custom cob tamper here, 40 caliber. Go big or go home, I guess. On Sundays, I normally do an arrow. I smoke an arrow because I smoke a lot of Kia blends during the week. And I found this one here that I absolutely love that I got from Pipes and Cigars. Cult Blood Red Moon. It's a cherry. It's awesome. Tim straight up smells like cherry chocolates. And even got a good taste. And unlike most cherries, you get halfway through the bowl. It doesn't taste like crap. It still tastes pretty good. It stays lit pretty good too. But it's really good stuff. If you're a cherry lover, get the pipes and cigars and order you ten of this. Or do it like I did, order four. The reason for me making this video is I got a Yabo and I'm excited. This one's from Brian Duran of Brian Duran Pipes. I've seen his pipes on eBay quite a bit. Loved his work. I come across one that he had the other day that I hadn't ever seen him work in this type of medium of wood, so I had to have the damn thing, so I went ahead and ordered it. I'm scaring a I pre cut this and dumped the packing peanuts out because there was a lot of freaking packing peanuts in this sucker. I haven't looked at it yet, but I pre opened it to save me the trouble. Let's see what we got here. Nice bag. I'll deal with small stuff first, I guess. There's Brian's pertinent information. If anybody's interested in getting a pipe from him, I'll leave it there for another second. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, tobacco. Ooh, that smells good. So is there a Dunhill early, more early EMP, which I'm assuming is early morning pipe. Try that first thing in the morning on my ride to work with my cup of coffee. Turn a little golf tea tamper, Brian Duran pipes. And here we go. Put this down. This is a mortar pipe, 5,650 euro mortar. My first mortar pipe I've ever had. I can't wait to smoke it. But I looked at it, it's pretty neat looking, so I figured I'd, I had the money, might as well go ahead and get it. Without further ado, it's nice. I like the white stem, it sets off the mortar, silver band. It's an odd shape. he done some rustification on it, but he smoothed out the top and on the back of the shank. But it's pretty cool. I can't wait to fire it up. Of course, I've heard. A lot of people talk about mortar pipes. You know, there's an art to they get. I've heard people say they burn hotter than the normal briar pipes, and you know, there's a trick to smoking them rather than puffing the heck out of them like a freight train. You know, but I just have to do trial and error with this. And unlike most of Brian's pipes, this is a thin wall pipe. A lot of his are thicker, but I thought it was pretty neat. It's one of them impulse buys. That and I like the slight bend in the stem. Let's have a gander at it. See how I look with it. Not too bad. Still look like a ball headed dork, but anyway. Uh, 
I'll have to put a softy bit on that because I got a half of a tooth in the back there. I don't want to ruin those stems, but that is really awesome. Really good work there. I checked it. I hate pulling stems apart, but it's pretty good work there on the draft hole. I can't wait to fire this up. This might I might this might be my pipe for the morning with my uh early morning Dunhill. Give it a shot and see how it looks. Or looks, see how it burns and how it how it smokes. But I know Brian and several of the other carvers, Rick Black and Joe Case on their heading to Nashville this coming weekend. I wish I could go. But unfortunately work can't get off work and also too I ain't got the money to go because I know there's supposed to be 40 uh, artisans at the uh, Southern Fried Pipe Meet by sponsored by Drew Estates and if there's 40 of them there I if I walk in I'm gonna be buying a pipe off every damn one of them and unfortunately I ain't got the money to do so I wish I could I wish I could go I mean because that now would be a good chance to hang out with guys I see on YouTube I mean Rick's going Rick Black's going to be there uh, Jane Jason Dagner is going to be there. Stogie Farts is going to be there. I mean, and even the, in Joe Case, I'd love to go, but I just can't afford to this year. But who you knows? So I hopefully will be able to make it to one of the pipe sh to one of the pipe shows. I mean, I got Nashville to the south of me, and I got St. Louis, which is not very far from me. I probably make that one when it comes around. But I'd love to go. Uh, this is kind of a half-ass video because I. Don't really know what the heck. Like I told you in the previous video, I don't know what I'm doing. I uh, just started doing this because I got inspired to make videos, give my opinions of the tobaccos I smoke, you know, the pipes that I have that I'm proud of that I own, you know, because not very many people get to see them. I mean, this Scotto I love, and, it, and I, it was a heck of a deal when I got it. I mean, the grain's beautiful. It's just a good pipe, but. I guess that's not very much to talk about, but oh well. I just wanted to show, but show off my Brian Duran pipe that I got in the mail. I'm excited as heck to get it. I hope to be ordering more pipes from him. Plus, I'm also been keeping an eye on the stuff that Rick's been producing because he's make his pipes are getting sicker and sicker. Looking, they're looking awesome. Um, so you get a chance. If you're interested, there's Brian's information again and also check out Rick Black at Rick Black Pipes those are two the two good ones that I uh, I like to purchase pipes from when I can but and also for you arrow smokers definitely gotta try this especially if you love cherry this is good stuff it will not disappoint um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off of here because well one I'm doing laundry and I've got to get it finished but anyway till next time this is Southern Oil Piper. See ya.